All right. All right, everyone on Facebook, face, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook people. How are y'all doing today? How you doing today? Look at that. Look at that. Back feet. Look at that. Uh, how are everybody doing today on this great day, this wonderful Thursday? Uh, we are here again today uh, with our faith talk conversation. We're talking about the routine in marriage. Uh uh, uh, we got our favorite couple, one of our favorite couples, okay? They dark skin, light skin, just like us, okay? All right? Uh, I'm not going to say what was said earlier, but <laughs> what I am going to say is they look a lot younger than us. Mm. Mm, so All look right. <laughs> See, okay. They look good. They look good. Look at hey, hey, keep the compliments flowing, brother. Hell yeah, say they look good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> last, time we, last time we talked to this couple, let me tell you where they was at. Okay. They was being rude. Okay. They was being real rude. Okay. Not rude. Rude. Okay. Okay. They was in Miami. Okay. It was sitting out in the balconies looking over the ocean and it was stuff. like construction going on so that you know they really couldn't enjoy themselves fully so that's right Kelly. like i was saying <laughs> they was out there enjoying themselves okay they was out there getting tans and stuff you know it's hard you know one thing i hate about being dark skinned you can't get a real good tan okay i don't i haven't seen dark skinned people with tans okay but you don't see that but anyway that ain't the point you they was tan. out there you can tell you just be darker <laughs> <laughs> see you're right mm -hmm. i'll be darker but when i come back up north i come back to my natural cover okay now look yeah. they was out there enjoying life putting their feet in the sand walking on the beach holding hands <laughs> you know what i'm saying doing marriage goals taking pictures like <laughs> this is as they was doing all that while we okay we were here we're trying to teach y'all. We're that's trying to show of, you guys. That's a part of routine maintenance. Yes. That's a part of routine maintenance. It, yeah. it goes along with the whole flow of things. I'm with it. When we leaving, Carlos? Yeah, see, there it is. Girl, we were just in North Carolina a whole week. <laughs> that wasn't vacation. Oh, but it was a whole week? It was half of a week, actually. And did you vacate from everything? No. Okay. No. See, so now it's time to plan a real vacation. You're right. That's I what... think somebody put um, what did they say? When you go, when you go on vacation with the kids, you're just uh babysitting your kids in another state, something like that. Like yes, that <laughs> is, that is true? true. That's why we have a rule where you take three vacations a year. Mm. One just the two of y'all, one with the whole family with the kids, and one separate. Like she go with her girls and I go with the fellas or, or either I go by myself, she go by herself. You need something without each other. Yeah, absolutely. Absence makes the heart yeah, go Yeah, I, I need to get to that because I need to, uh, she needs a vacation. I believe she needs a vacation. You know, that's where I feel like she needs a vacation by herself. Vacation? Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> when you like. <laughs> Anyway, she needs a vacation. <laughs> Just book it. Just book it. I don't know what she wanted. She got her hand out. Thought she wanted to file. Miscommunication. Some you didn't say that. You had your hand out. Uh, you know, you do that. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I thought that's what it was. I thought you wanted to file. Okay. I apologize to everyone. Everyone. But anyway, let me get this out the way. Uh, you know, uh, we thank God for being the head of our lives, head of our marriages. Uh, we just pray that our topic on today, our discussion on today, the, um, the wisdom that is going to be shared on today, be helpful to everyone. Uh, for those who are listening, 
on our podcast on off of Apple, Google Play, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Please continue to follow us, continue to listen, continue to share. Those who will watch on our replay on the YouTube channel, Congress Service, Faith Talk Conversation, please follow us as we continue to share uh, great conversation, great dialogue, great information with you um, in this season, okay? This is something that uh, we do, and we like to enjoy it, have fun, and make sure that you get what you need, okay? Um, but back to the back to the program, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, this is what we're going to do, all right? For those who don't know, okay, uh, me and Kelly, we've been married for 15 years, okay? 15 wow. years, okay? All right, wow. 15 long, since we were, since she was 20, okay? And I was 21. How old are you? How old am I? No, you already know how old I am. <laughs> All the years, okay? Okay, sir. Hold on, no, I was wrong. That was wrong, but... You know, look, we've been married for 15 years. It doesn't matter the age, okay? <laughs> Just know it was young, okay? All right? We was young. Mm -hmm. And now we 15 years in the game, okay? Mm -hmm. You know what 15 years in the game mean today? What that means today? Everything. 50 years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we okay. basically got 100 years in the game. <laughs> so that which brings me to the next point, mm -hmm. okay? They... Been married for almost 20, what, 26, 27? It'll be 27 this year. Yeah, 27. In September. Yeah, I know she... See, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Hey, as long as it's in his phone, that's all that matters. Okay? <laughs> that's all that matters. So, I remember long, when she. Reminder. Oh, see? Just a reminder. Just, just no. All right? So they've been married for 27. So you know how many years that mean in the game today? Today, you know what that means? How many years? A hundred, a hundred and fifteen. Okay, all right, hundred and fifteen years. Okay, you got over, you got over, over a hundred and seventy years of experience of marriage on here today. All right, all right, through the good times, through the bad, through richer, through poor, through right. studio apartment to four bedroom houses. Okay, so okay, the mansions. Okay. <laughs> to acres okay that's what we're talking about all right we got this type of we ain't your normal typical uh, uh okay when i say this don't take it the wrong way these uh -uh. new couples that comes and write a book and tell you what marriage should be with them you know why because we still here we're still fighting and where they are they they somewhere else on the sidelines okay all right but anyway that ain't the point Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about this great book, which brings me to another problem. They still haven't signed my book. Oh, they still Lord. Let me show you. Doing this book. See this? Everybody? We're going to make sure you get a signed Blank. copy. We're going to make Blank. sure you get a signed copy. You see this one? Blank. Blank. It's cool, though. It's cool. He played too much. If I, <laughs> I'm just saying, if I... Never mind, forget it. I, I'm, I'm not going to hold on, but first Sunday is this Sunday. True story. Take your communion, brother. I'm not going to take my communion because I got on with my brothers and sisters. I went to them. <laughs> I told them I had on. So as they take communion this Sunday at their church, I hope they pray about me. <laughs> it's like pray, when we pray, get to that Pistons me. game, just bring the bring, When we get to that Pistons game, just bring the book. We'll oh, no, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do on site? When I see you on the streets, I'm gonna like, oh, it's on site, <laughs> on site with the book. <laughs> I'm keep, I'm putting, I'm leaving this book in the car. I'm from now on, from this today on, I'm in leaving. It, it's gonna be in my book bag. It's gonna be right there. I'm like, oh, you ain't gotta go through all that. We gonna make. I don't care where you at. I don't care where you at. Starbucks. I don't care you at Kroger's. I don't care your dry cleaners. I'm coming on site. Okay, please, church members. Okay, please don't come at me. I, okay, I'm 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 just messing with your you know your leadership. I'm just messing with them. You know, this is all love. Don't don't beat me up. I'm just saying I'm just messing with them. Okay, but anyway, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a little game. All right, like who does it? Okay, so here we go. Uh oh. Here we go. 
who is the most who has OCD you or him mm. it's like 50 50 it, yeah I was about to say it depends on what it is yeah it's like 50 50 yeah, yeah. it's 50 50 for like us. if it's the floors she's the you know but if it's dust and cabinets and stuff like that that's me mm. but she's the floor uh, military person floor. <laughs> Yeah. So she like Marines or she like Army? Yeah, like Marines. <laughs> she she walks around with the Dyson and just vacuums everything. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm more of the person like the dishes in the cabinet. Can we make sure they like back where they belong? Can we put them back where they belong? Oh like, yeah! It and gotta be a certain it's stacked a certain way. You just just throw stuff me. in there. So look, true story, true story. This is what I do after, you know, you take dishes out out of dishwasher and everything. Um, I try to put it in the cabinet. I try to remember what particular order, what shelf, which pots go where. Okay. So what I do is I like, no, no. So I'm, let me tell my okay, truth. Okay. My, let me tell my truth. So, okay. So what I do is I'm like, forget it. I know what to do. I call my son because he knows where to put it. So I was like, hey, son, come put this up. He looks at me like, you right there, why you can't do it? I'd be like, look, you know your mama. I don't feel like <laughs> you it. know your mama. You know your mama. You and your I don't mama. want to feel like hearing her saying, why are my pants is out of order? Why can't I get it out? Who who put these dishes up? That's yeah, what I say. Who her. put these dishes up? And I, I don't say nothing. I just turn my head like wow. he do. He just act like he ain't <laughs> <laughs> you didn't set the kid up. Cause you just set the pole kids up. I ain't hear nothing. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go to the room. See y'all. He do. He All do right. That. All right. Here I got next question. Next question. All right. <clears throat> All right. Comes with the toothpaste. All right. Who's most likely to get or leave the toothpaste cap off? Mm. Same. Same. I probably wouldn't leave um, it off, but I would be more likely than him. For sure. Okay. All right. Who's most likely to leave one, two sheets of toilet paper left in the bathroom? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I we could get some more use out of it. I'm like, okay, we could put that with some more tissue. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Take it one for the team, man. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Who's most likely to spend more money in the household? I, I hope you're playing at yourself. No, I'm playing at her. Oh. <laughs> I'm helping him out. <laughs> Two gets one. You I think so? I, do you spend more money? <laughs> no. He said you spend more money. <laughs> no. Is it okay? Look, when I say spend more money, most money, I'm referring to uh, like on themselves. Oh, on themselves. Not on a. I'll for sure, you. <laughs> How many pair of shoes you have? Put your finger down now. I don't even yeah, spend money. I mean, yeah. I, uh-huh. Shoes. How many purses do you have? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to move on to the next question. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> she, she totally, you know, like, oh, we got to go. <laughs> next question. <laughs> Who's most likely? <laughs> okay. Who's most likely um, do the cooking? <laughs> All day long. <laughs> you know what? I, I, the reason why 90% I want to I wanna shout out my wife on today because she knows I don't eat salmon. Okay. She knows I don't eat it. I don't, I don't really care for it. But she made me some chicken while she made everyone else some salmon. So I want to shout her out because she did. I, I wasn't ready for it because I was that's sure to think like, that's the real one. one. I, yeah, I thought I was just like, oh well, I guess I'm gonna be eating vegetables today. <laughs> no meat for me today. I'm gonna get that to you. I was like, man, it's gonna be a rough one. So I'm gonna be growling in the middle of the night. 
<laughs> like, what's wrong with you? Okay, I made him some Coney Island wing thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, out to, uh, Shout out to Gordon's. <laughs> I for the sponsorship. Hey, look, I'm trying to get, I need sponsors. Gordon, come on, holla at me. Right, holla at me. <laughs> at me, okay? All right. Who's most likely to yell at the kids first? <laughs> I don't even yell at the kids. I just like, is it me? Is that the women have like anger problems? Like they just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That, but I'm she, do like, all, she do all the fuss and I do the discipline. Like her, so. pa- like their patience is like because we know we taught them better. I taught yeah. you better than that. Why did you leave your shoe in the middle of the floor? Just like yeah. period. I taught you that. Yep, that part, all of that. See, you see, oh, I, I just I simply like come. Too. I I just simply come in and say, "Turn in your phones until you clean up." So. Turn in your phones. <laughs> that, 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 hey, you just need to walk in with a shirt like. <laughs> turn, in your phones. Turn, in, turn in your phones. <laughs> like, you already know. <laughs> you already know. So we, we don't waste my time. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Who's most likely to, uh, oh, how can I put this? Mm. Who's most likely to, uh, who does the most uh, driving? between you two who do who do, do the most driving for sure you know, i don't i've been her drive man look look let me tell you true story true story okay <laughs> we drive into north carolina man when i say i feel like i grew like at least a patch gray hair <laughs> going through the mountains going through the mountains and you know, when you go through the mountains, right, mm-hmm. you don't bother the driver. Don't, you know, just don't, don't try to grab them. Don't try to yell at them. Don't try to distract them. Don't do Listen, no. Listen, let me tell y'all, okay. It was raining. Okay. It was not. So last week, Monday, it was snowing here, right? So, but it was raining. Like it was a whole line of like bad weather all the way down to North Carolina. So it was raining. Then it started snowing and sleeting. We're in the mountains and mm. it's snowing and sleeting mm. and he's trying to go fast. I'm mm. like, sir, I need you to don't even do the speed limit. He's trying to at least keep up with the speed. Don't do the speed limit. I, wasn't I need even you to go like 10 below the speed limit. I wasn't doing the speed limit. Yeah. I was doing the flow of traffic. And then don't oh, my <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. The flow of traffic. I, I, live here. We don't no. live here. I, I, I thought we he was on the here. Mm-mm. No, we don't live in Virginia. We don't live in West Virginia. Those people live there. They know how to drive and they stuff. We don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that was the only reason. Like mm-mm. when I saw a two car, a two door, small Honda Civic flying past me. I'm in a minivan mm-hmm. flying past me doing 70. And they looking at me like this. Let them look. And I'm like. I'm not even doing the speed limit. It was snowing and sleeting, and it was not letting up like the whole way. It was terrible. It was. That's a shot to speed. our ego. You can't let no little civic get past you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't see it. Like, if the civic right. can go fast, we can go fast. Right. That's what I'm saying. I was like, oh, okay. Mm-mm. All right. Then it, what it we're not good. about to do is allow a foreign car pass my American car like this this you can keep up with them when we get on flat land okay not around no not, hills no mountains none of that i don't even i can't okay that's my nerves I, is bad. you gotta tell her hold on i what i, I do is i i just make her go to sleep so dude that's the reason why i we left so early for she can't see the mountains <laughs> well pr- we didn't leave that early i know but i was praying that we get there at least to that part where you won't see the mountains and then you'd be okay. But you know what she did? On the did? way back, we was. When she disappeared like this, <laughs> I tried not to laugh because I like, I like, she she freaking out. I like the mountains didn't bother me. I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is beautiful. <laughs> Look at these mountains. Look it at was, God. Look was, what God has created. Yeah. Look at the, he- the heavens and the earth. You okay? mean like Look at the, the screensaver that he created? <laughs> the screensaver, you know. It was beautiful. I seen it and I could see it from the picture. I don't have to see it. 
I don't have to see it in person. I was trying to get her attention. I was like, look, look, look. Someone put three crosses up there. I say, hey, look at that. Look at but that. But why would you make me look? It's like. But it was not up. three crosses. It was like three trees. It looked, it was, look, my eyes was bad. It was, look, don't worry about see, it. See, you shouldn't good. even been looking that way. You should have been on the road. I was fine. That's why I was holding yeah, it's hard. Day. It's hard, brother. You can't say your eyes bad while you driving fast and sleep. I was up. I wasn't driving as fast. I wasn't driving <laughs> as fast. I said I was driving with the flow of traffic. Listen to the word. <laughs> the word. The word it says is with the flow of traffic. Okay. All right. All right. Now, okay. Last question. Here we go. Uh mm, who has in-laws question? Mm-hmm. Whose side of the family is more crazier? <laughs> he was like, let me yeah, like, I ain't gonna mm. mm. why? Why is that? Why I gotta be the male side? Probably the dark skin side, but it's okay. <laughs> it's those ones that originated from the east side. <laughs> but we all originated from the east side. <laughs> not we all came from the east. All right, we all, we came, all from came from the east. east. Not really. Charlton, did you not live on the east side? No. Don't lie. I, no, 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 no. Uh, I was born on the west. No, you was born downtown. I live. You was born downtown. What west I side live. hospital you was born at? What? What west side hospital you was born at? What? See. Okay. <laughs> I love. Mm-hmm. I was born. He lived and raised. Side. He lived on the east side. I lived on the east side for one year. It doesn't matter. All right. Anyway, we ain't gonna <laughs> go. We ain't gonna even go there. This is another discussion because <laughs> I. <laughs> We're gonna talk about domestic violence in a minute, okay? Oh, <laughs> Lord, don't down, do it. Okay, uh, right on site, okay. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to uh, let me go into our, our, our topic on tonight. Let's go to the very first topic. Uh, I would like to talk about this. Let's get this one out the way because this has been a uh, ongoing topic. Uh, 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 protecting your spouse, let's talk about that. Protecting your spouse. Okay, I'm referring to the Will Smith incident. Uh, I'm referring oh. to, uh, I'm referring to her response to the Will Smith incident, to the uh, Oscar uh, incident. Uh, uh, did you hear what her response? Did y'all hear? No, I response? didn't. Uh, did you hear what her response was? Mm-mm. You didn't. I did not. Didn't? Okay. <laughs> now let me ask you. Okay. Is this her protecting her herself or protecting her spouse? Quote unquote, I'm just paraphrasing. I do not condone Will Smith, condone my husband's actions. Uh, what happened at the Oscars? Uh, I thought he will react better in that situation. End mm. quote. Mm. Now, now, I'm going to ask. Pastor, I'm going to ask you. As Will, you're Will Smith, you're you're Will. You feel like he was protecting his wife. So, so we have this. We had a long debate about this thing um, because we always talk about it. We always look at it through the lens of marriage ministry and what would we tell somebody um, how best they can handle situations when it comes to you know altercations like that and there's so many um there's so many ways a woman can um minimize the confrontation between let me tell you something man the uh, the, the the response of a woman can is almost life or death for a man mm-hmm. um you you have to be careful with how you respond to certain things um, because in the process of him trying to protect you, he can lose his life or be in jail somewhere, um, all because of a small offense that could have been overlooked. Now you have to know that your husband or your man is a protector. Um, you have to know him. My wife knows me. She know how crazy I can get. And especially when it comes to my wife and kids, my family, when it comes to my family. So she, she knows not to allow the fire to get anywhere near the the time bomb. So Mm -hmm. uh, unless it's extremely necessary. So in that situation, in that scenario, I'm going to let her talk about it, but I believe that it was a response 
if you look at the situation, he laughed at the joke at first. And then he looked at his wife and she didn't approve of it. And so he responded to her response. Mm -hmm. And so my wife has a different take on how she could have responded to it. So I'm gonna let her go ahead. Um, I'm probably not gonna jump into her response. Maybe, um, I don't, I, I think, I. I think you really summed it up, really. I think, honestly, um, he responded to her response. And I think if you know your spouse, you know exactly how they're going to respond in certain situations. So you have to be careful. Um, but to answer your question, even about um, her comments afterwards, I just feel like she left him hanging to dry. Like, why would you ever say that? Um, about your spouse who you know defend it almost feel like she like I don't want the heat on me he should have responded but y'all won so whether the heat on him it's on, you it's on you regardless so I think um and I we even talk I talked to my daughter about this um piggybacking on what he was saying is when you're out for one you have a brother you have a father when you're out here dating you have to be careful because women can escalate a situation because a man feels like he has to protect you or what you're going to make him feel some type of way if he don't protect you. So you have to be careful. And because like, even with my oldest, because you have twins and they're out and they're doing different things. I'm like, you have to be careful what you say, what you do, because you can basically involve your brother and stuff just because he's trying to protect you, your father and stuff, or even somebody that you date. And so I just think we have to be careful how we respond if we're not looking for a ticking time bomb. If we don't want them to explode. I mean, I think some people like to see that. That shows yeah. how much you know somebody. But if you're not looking for that. And that's a, that's a level of immaturity. It is. Because there's a way. She could have laughed at the joke. And then later on said, hey, I need you to go check him. Because I didn't appreciate that. And then behind stage, uh, behind closed doors, he, he could have checked them. And if he didn't respond, then he could have slapped them. <gasps> that's why I would I would have I would have approached him afterwards. I like that um, approach. You know what I mean? I would I mean, approach them later and say, hey, man, I didn't appreciate that. You need to apologize to my wife. And if he wouldn't have apologized then, then I would have slapped him or or I probably wouldn't have slapped him. I would have punched him. But I mean, it's, it's you know, you you it's a different way to handle things. Yeah. And in a marriage, you just got to be careful because like I said, he could either be dead or in jail somewhere because of the way you responded to it. Yep, you got to do yeah, I agree. Um, it was crazy. Like you said from the jump, he was laughing, but when he saw his wife's response, then it was like, oh, wait a minute. This really hurt her. This really upset her. And I said, um, even sometimes like you don't know people's mental, you know what I mean? Like maybe he don't usually do that. Maybe he don't usually react like that, but maybe, okay. They've been in the news a lot. You know, people keep talking about their relationships a lot. So their relationship a lot. So that could be like that. It could have been a trigger, mm -hmm. just something that triggered him. And he was like, you know what? But still, again, you know, we got We got to go back to, you know, everybody is human. You know, we all make mistakes. But he did. He did go too far when he got up on stage and, you know, slapped them. I felt like that was like he shouldn't have did that. But we don't know his mental state. And uh, and people keep saying like, oh, uh it's it's all her fault i wouldn't say it was you know like because he got to be responsible for his self at some point too as yeah well. yeah mm -hmm. so, for sure yeah. i wouldn't place 100 percent of the fault on her but she was a main con main contributor and i think that you know yeah even if he you know lost himself and i think that's another issue that needs to be addressed uh in terms of coming out post-pandemic um, relationships have suffered a major shift. And what we've learned is that it's either a shift, a major shift in a good direction or a major shift in a bad direction. We know so many people that got divorced in the pandemic. And so it's crazy, you know, either they got closer or either they get, you know, far apart as you possibly can. So, you know, we're, we got to deal with the mental issues of, how you know we were um, affected by the pandemic? Yeah, I, I want to say this. I I want to say that uh, yes, he was wrong. 
physical altercation is wrong. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I understood why he did it. And I understood the amount of pressure that was on him. Meaning, we talking about two, three years of a buildup, him have to defend Mm -hmm. his marriage in the public light with his wife talking about uh, past situations, bringing it up to the public, talking about how people, you remember back in the day, people would be like, oh, I want my marriage just to be like Jada and Will, or I want my marriage to be just, uh, I want my relationship to be just like uh, Whitney and uh, Barbie. No, not Bobby. Whitney and um, <laughs> Whitney and um, different world. Oh, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne and Whitney, Dwayne and Whitney, Dwayne you know, and Whitney. You, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, Will Smith and Jada was one of those black couples, power couples that a lot of people looked up to. It's like, okay, they've been married for X amount of years. They've been. Uh, handling their children. They had a blended family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the first blended families that you saw in the public light like that, where you saw how they were handling, how mm-hmm. the ex-wife was still around and still with the, you know, hanging around doing family trips. So they had, you know, people mm-hmm. looked at it as a, a great example. Then you saw Will Smith. Will Smith was a, he's a quote unquote, a, a, uh, uh, a clean slate of a black man in black in hollywood meaning that yeah. he can you know the others will like oh well that's will smith you know we we can take along with him you know he he can bounce between the two well i ain't gonna say he can bounce between the two but he can he can walk easily over there on the other side but that was the first time you know uh, i feel like this is the first time we ever saw will as a black man dealing with mental uh mental illness dealing with the trauma dealing with how he's um bounding with his um marriage and how he really feels because no one really asks will how you really feel about what's going on no one really cared everyone just made a joke made a meme about him uh and you know when he do interviews he makes sure that no one asks about his marriage and everything so you know it was a lot going on and not even behind closed doors. I'm pretty sure behind closed doors, the way that the Jada responded, I felt like that was totally disrespectful for me. Like, I felt that like, wow, you really going to disrespect she, she ain't have his back. Yeah. And as a black male, only person that I really need and support and I expect someone to have my back is my wife at the end of the day. And yeah. you did that publicly. Publicly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now when you hear about him in India or he somewhere in Dubai all by himself, mm-hmm. yeah, I understand why. You gotta get you gotta fix that. Then before you even address her. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't want you to react and do something to her. Because anyway it goes, she she already played her hand. She already played her hand, which leads to this. All to right. This great wonderful. Leads to this great book right here. Okay. If you don't have it, I'm going to pray for you because you need it. Okay. All right. All right. You need this book. Okay. This book has been in the making. What they, how long did it take y'all? About almost 15 years. Yeah. Like 10 years. 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 We finally just put what was in our mind to um, to paper in the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So, Say in the pandemic, things came out and happened. <laughs> they they brought them close together and had them finished product. Okay. Now listen, this book is what you need. Okay. In marriage, uh, when you have counseling, well, not counseling, when you're having uh those conversations with other married couples, okay. You notice I say other married couples. I ain't say people who are in relationships. Uh, you know, I ain't say that. I just say with married couples, married couples not anyway. entanglement not entanglement scott darn it we don't do there it is a difference there is a difference. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do shacking up we ain't talking about those shacking up people okay oh, <laughs> i felt old on that one i don't know why i don't know <laughs> where that came from y'all already y'all about to have the whole pe- the whole uh live mad at us they already mad at us oh, no. about I, where that come from? <laughs> nice. those shacking up people okay. i don't know why you 
<laughs> the old Pentecostal. I hear I hear the old mothers in my back in my voice. I'm shacking up. I don't want you shacking up. But anyway, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about those who are serious about marriage, those who are serious to inquire to be married. This will help you. Okay. You can get it on Amazon. Okay. Oh, can I can I, I can I interject? We are ahead, now man. at Baker's Bible bookstore on Grand River. Um, so the book is now also being sold at Baker's Bible Bookstore. Amen. Amen, okay. people. Bakers. <laughs> Maybe you're not going to get a signed copy, but that ain't, that's another joke. That's an inside joke, people. That's not worry about that. That's an inside joke. <laughs> On site. We, we, On what site. we're going to do is we're going to set a date, a, a book signing date. <laughs> right. Then everybody can come <laughs> in and get their book signed. Listen, listen, I'm not going to have an art. I already have an art. But I will have another art if other people get their book signed for me. Okay, but that ain't the point. We got you covered. I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to be outside. I'm gonna have to be outside when they go to uh, Baker's. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, uh, be out there waiting in a, a tent and, and a, a sleeping bag, waiting on them uh, to get my book signed. That's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, all right. Bridge brings this book. Okay, now this I have passage in here talking about uh, um, uh, uh, stick it. Stick uh -uh. Mm, sorry. Stick, stay, and pray. Yes. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I don't know y'all can't see this because the light. The light yeah. I apologize. Uh, but it's a stick, stay, and pray. Uh, stick to it. Stay in it and pray through it. Okay. That's right. I, I will give you. I I will give you the page number, but I'm not gonna do that because of the fact you need to go get the book. Okay. <laughs> Order it right now. Okay. All right. The book is hot. I mean, not literally hot like it's stolen, but it's hot. <laughs> this is what you need, okay? <laughs> like, I didn't steal this. I paid for mine, okay? I got the Amazon package. I sent them a copy, told them I paid for it. See, I paid for it, okay? I didn't ask for one to give me one for free. No, I paid for it. You got to support one another, okay? Anyway, Amen. Like, Amen. I'm waiting on the workbook. You know, yeah, I'm waiting on the workbook. And yeah, that, we got the workbooks. We got a journal or something going to go with it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look, look at that! Shameless look at plug that. right there. Look at right that! Look at that! Look, the little shameless plug. So they got the workbook. I hope yeah, we I can get that signed with this one. Okay, then. Okay, we'll figure that out. But anyway, <laughs> how much the workbook is? Ten dollars. See, the workbook is ten dollars. Okay, mm -hmm. on Amazon it'd probably be what? We $10. only selling the book on so on our website on the website, but you can go to our web our website at beltministries.com um, and you can get the workbooks. We're selling the workbooks ourselves. We'll ship it to you directly, but only on Amazon, we're selling the book. Okay. So for those who are listening on the podcast, for those who are watching on YouTube channel, uh, we're going to put that information up their website for you can go directly to it. Click on that link and go straight to it uh and buy the book i'm telling you and the workbook okay it's right there for you look don't play if you're serious about your marriage mm. you're serious about your relationship get this book okay we're talking about 115 years of wisdom right here <laughs> god darn it <laughs> oh, god. Years, okay i'm gonna leave them alone because they're gonna beat me up on site okay but anyway um okay on page i ain't gonna say it but on here, they have on here, uh, uh, how can I say this? Um, they talk about, quote unquote, I'm just going to read a short passage, okay? Uh, and okay. it says, society teaches us to uh, find it for ourselves and find the nearest exit. This is selfish, but we have been conditioned to save ourselves first. Even on the plane, the steward is rem remind us to secure our own mass before helping others. However, in marriage, God remind us that we are one flesh, Genesis 2 and 24. If we both worry about securing one another, we, we, will, we will both make it through the fire, okay? That's straight words from them, okay? That's straight words from them out of their mouth, okay? That's what they say, okay? Now, we are living in a time, we are living in a society where everybody, including in marriage, is all about me. Uh, I'm going to say a quote that I heard over the weekend, over the last week. I got to, uh, 
what did she say? How did she say it? She said, I got to protect me. Someone said that, uh, uh, and I heard them say it, and I keep on hearing them say, I got to protect me. I got to protect me. I got to protect me. In marriage, you got to take me out. You got to say, I got to protect us. And uh, can you uh, elaborate even more onto the stick it, uh, uh, on sticking through in today's marriage and comparing it to today's society? You want to go start on that? Or you want to um, start? Sure, I can um, jump in there. I think, um, unfortunately, we trend um, with the world in a lot of things. And we, we look at um, that and say that, oh, that's okay, you, what you see everybody else doing. Um, but honestly, um, sticking through it is hard work. Um, and I think people, um, we used to give people hard hats when they used to get married um, because it's such hard work. Um, and it's, it's hard to stick to it. Um, nobody wants to pray, right? We, we do all of these different things, but we don't actually sit down together and pray. Um, it's harder work to stay together, but it's worth it. It's worth sticking through it and staying. And I, one of the examples that you just read about, um, I think it goes into talking about if a room was on fire um, and all of the exits were, were on fire and you couldn't get out, what would you do? And the answer to that is you'll try to put the fire out because to your point, we always try to um, like save ourselves um, in, in marriages and in Christ and in God. He teaches us how to like work together and become one flesh and be united and all those different things. So if we both don't want to die, we have to learn how to put the fire out because all of the exits are, are closed. And if we look at our marriage that way, the exit, there's not an exit. The problem is we go into marriages looking at the exit like, OK, now if he do this, if he do that. I mean, we do coaching and you should hear the long list of this is what I'm going to do to get out if all of this go wrong. If you look at your marriage as if it's not a way out of it, then you're going to do what you have to do to make it work while you're in it. And then I'm going to pass it over to my husband. He probably want to add something on that. Well, I want to say this, and I think that our grandparents did us a disservice. You remember those old relationships um, that our grandparents had that were 30, 40 years in a relationship, they died holding hands. And, you know, like you you saw that and that was what you aspired to be, uh, mm -hmm. your relationship to be. But what they never told you, they never told you that grandpa had a gambling issue. They never told you that they worked through uh, uh, when he was unemployed. They never told you about, you know, the times where they had really rough situations where there might have been another woman involved or anything like that they don't tell you that stuff they just they they kept it under um they kept it under the cover and didn't really in, expose that kind of stuff because they didn't want you to look at granddaddy different they didn't want you to look at grandma different you know uh there's there's very vulnerable moments within a relationship you don't get 15 and 26 years without having some real struggles mm -hmm. but the thing about it is we don't we're not really transparent to tell people hey you know we went through some really hard struggles to get here and it paid off in the end mm -hmm. and so the problem is everybody's looking at the finished product or the progress that we've made in 26 years and the progress you've made in 15 years but they don't get to see the struggles you had to go the time we tell people all the time I, I, if I had a dime for every time I thought about getting divorced, I would be rich. You know what I mean? Like you think about it, it's just about canceling that thing and, and rebuking it in your mind and, and saying, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to stay through it and I'm going to pray through it. You know what I mean? I, I, so it's, 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 a, it's a part of the process. If you want longevity in your relationship, you have to put in the work. But this is the society that we live in. Because we, if you pay attention, we're not staying at jobs anymore. You know, we're not staying at jobs to, to retire. Oh. You know what I mean? It, we're not staying at churches anymore. You know, uh, people used to go to church and this was the church I, I, I was born in and it's the church I'm going to die in, you know? <laughs> and now you got everybody talking about church hurt and hopping from one or two churches and talking about dual membership. We don't stick to anything anymore. So why would we do it in marriages? I was thinking too, while you were talking, is that um, what people see the comparison to. Um, so now we compare ourselves to what people post. 
Um, but everybody is not what they post to be. You know what I mean? Like it now, like we didn't have that back in the day either. So I think it's an extra layer of attacks against marriages because I don't go on Facebook and post um, me and my husband having an argument about, okay, we about to go on vacation and you're going to take a nap and I'm going to do this. Like, I don't post that. I just post that we on vacation and it looks like we're having a bunch of fun. So you have people that try to compare their marriages to what they see and, and fake, fake book is make believe. Like all of this social sites, I'm only sharing with you what I want you to know. Like, no, no we're not, tra- like some people are not transparent and you have to be careful with that. But in intimate settings, you can be, but nobody posts all their issues. Nobody posts, you know, so I think that whole comparison thing is having a real huge effect on marriages as well. Real quick, because we have examples uh, of people who, you know, we do sessions with and they're at each other's throat and ready to ready to kill each other physically. You know what I mean, and I say physically. And the very next day you will see them posted, booed up on social media as if nothing ever happened. And so it just lets you know that everything, like like what my wife said, everything is isn't what it's supposed to be. So they they post something that's different, it's opposite of what they're going through, and that's what a lot of people are doing. You know, they could be going through depression, but they're posting that everything is good. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I agree. I see a lot of people who do that. Uh, they say, oh. You know, life is grand, but then behind closed doors, it's like, okay. But I have a question for you guys. So do you think that, uh, I guess you should be more transparent about uh, your relationship for those who are around you, like in relationships? Because, you know, some people might still want to just keep it like, okay, that's just, that's our thing. That's, you know, goes on in our house or, you know, just in our mm-hmm. marriage. But do you think people should be more open about, oh, you know, this is what's going on. And I guess these are the ways that you could, this is how I'm dealing with it or whatever, you know. I think transparency is good, but discernment is better. Mm-hmm. I think you have to be careful with who you um, are transparent to because people, I mean, we may be like young, but being married for 20 six years we've experienced a lot and you would be surprised to know that you have some people that just be around to see what's wrong with y'all like what 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 what, what's really going on here so i would say yes people do need to be more transparent but i would also say you have to use uh, wisdom and discernment and um, when we would have our um, classes what we would do is because you have to be careful who you expose yourself to and in a group setting. So we would do, we call them like box expressions and everybody who came into the class, no matter what, no matter how you was feeling that day, it didn't matter. You have to put something that you, like a question about marriage on a a card. We put it in a box so nobody knew who was asking what question. And so when you pull those things out, maybe I'm giving away all our stuff. That's all right. Y'all start y'all some marriage ministries. But anyway, so when you pull it out, (laughs) And you start talking about it, you should see like you see everybody face because the trick of the enemy is to make you think you're going through this alone. And that is one of the things that you do need to be around married couples and have that type of fellowship. But you should see like you never know who wrote the question, but you can see people like, listen, I we dealt with that. And we this is how we got past it. And you'll see that more people start opening up when they're in a safe environment. And that person that really want to ask the question and don't want to get, you know, um, nudged by their husband because they, you know, going to get mad at them at home. It's just a safe environment. But I would just say discernment and wisdom. You have to be careful. We do need to be transparent, but I think it's just you have to be careful. I think she yeah. summed up everything I wanted to say. I, I, yeah. I have nothing okay. to say. Yeah, okay. I, I agree. Uh, I, I agree with that because I, I believe like over our 15 years of marriage, there were like some people that was around our marriage that they not around no more mm-hmm. because of the fact we allowed them in because we was trying to protect them in their marriage help. or help them or assist them. They not around us because of the simple fact, Hey, you crossed us. So the guess what's going to happen. You're not going to break us up. What we're going to do is cut y'all off. But at the same time, at the same measure, like I said, I'm going to protect our marriage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no matter what i at the end of the day 
if you don't want to have you don't have the willingness or you don't have the fight uh to stick through in your marriage uh i'm not going to help you because i believe a lot of people like like you said earlier people don't like longevity they don't want to they don't like to stick through it they ain't they don't you're not going to see 30 years and out you know and uh, 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 most people in workplaces you're not going to see that no more you're going to see you're not going to see when you say dual uh uh, uh membership i was like uh um sir that means you're paying your tithe at two different churches that's what you're saying so yeah that's what that's you, the thing that's the thing they ain't paying in that neither so you can't split half your tithe you can't that over here, if you give them a hundred dollars over there, that means you're gonna give us a hundred dollars over here. That's how I see it. That when you say that, I'm like, oh, okay, so you want to do a mentorship? Oh, so all right, that's the so, culture that's, that's created. That's it's right. real, I'm telling it you, it is real, it is very real, and we are trying our best to stick with the trends of the time to see what's going on to kind of understand where things are going. Um, you know, and so we see that people are literally asking about dual membership and so it, it's crazy but i also want to say this too like we always tell people that you know we're not perfect you know we have issues in our marriage and it can go just that far when it comes to because we don't want to paint that perfect picture um you know the old saying of you know the higher the pedestal the harder the harder to fall um and so we always try to express to people that we're not perfect but we don't, it, we're very, very selective of who we give our details to. Right. We don't, we don't go all into details where he did this or she did that, or she wouldn't do this. And I didn't like that she did. No, that's, that's just a little too deep. Uh, and it's very rare that we give anybody those type of details, but we will talk about, you know, like, Hey, you know, she's, there's times where she get on my nerves and there's times where I get on her nerves. I mean, but you don't have to tell people, sometimes people, their flesh, will turn around and take your details and and do something else with it and, and it'll cause more problems at home or yeah or they take on like your example what y'all went through and trying to use it against the other spouse and be like well so and so so and so did this after he uh uh messed up in the marriage or whatever i need you to do that no no you can't compare it to you can't yeah. you can't do yeah. that you cannot you cannot do that. Uh, and one thing I would like to say is that most of us, uh, as well, we as season, uh, seasoned vets now, <laughs> that's how I look at it, seasoned vets, okay? I need, a jer- I need to retire my jersey, you know, any raptors <laughs> out there and just say, honey, see, yeah, there's a raptor. You don't see the raptors right there? That's the raptors, okay. all right? The honeys, <laughs> we made it, okay? We made it, you know what I'm saying? We did it, you know what I'm saying? We're out here. Um, but yeah, if you can make it past <laughs> 10 years, you did it for real. We did it. But at the other end is like, I know she get other, you know, she getting a half. So it's cheaper to keep her. So that ain't the point. That's what my grandfather would say. You ain't grandfather. got nothing. You're right. No. You're right. That ain't the point. That ain't the point. That ain't the point. That ain't the point. Anyway, anyway, ha ha. Everyone laugh. Come on. Laughter is good for the soul. Stop being all stuck up and bougie. Okay. Listen. All right. I ain't talking about I ain't talking about y'all. You know who I'm talking. They know who I'm talking to. Okay. But anyway, uh, I believe that we uh has to be a strong force when it comes to marriage, uh, especially when it comes to the world, especially when it comes into church, because the church is so intoxicated with the world, their values uh is all messed up because they don't have the word in their marriage. So we need to get back to the standards on marriage, making sure we be the great standard for them, uh, for marriage to come, for our children, children, for the next generation to come, uh, which brings to this, okay? Uh, I know we know a lot of people, uh, especially at work or anything like that, which brings to the next passage in the book, we're going to talk about uh, the grass, Mm-hmm. Uh, the grass or is it asher turf? Did I get it right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah, yeah. See, look at him. Boy, I'm, I'm bad man. Okay, okay. <laughs> it was <laughs> funny. Oh, so, I'm, 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 <laughs> so that, <laughs> I'm just that that chapter actually originated as the 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 title of the book, 
10 years ago, that was what we started the book was going to be, is it grass or AstroTurf? Um, and then as we went on, we was like, yeah, I don't want to, we don't want to do a whole book on that. You know, we just, we can do a chapter on that. But the whole concept is, you know, um, whenever you're on your side of the fence, you're close to your imperfections of your grass and you're, you're, you're looking at it and you, you're continuously maintaining it. And it's sometimes maintaining anything can be tiring. And when you look over in comparison, you know, if that grass, your neighbor's grass look greener, mm -hmm. I, I got a neighbor mm -hmm. that lives by me and it just seemed like his, his grass was like carpet, you know, but when I'm trying to go out there and thatch it and, and go out there and, and put seeds on mine and, I see holes here and holes there. Um, you have to understand what you see over there uh, may not be grass, it just may be AstroTurf. So it doesn't need the same level of maintenance. And the whole concept is that, you know, it's not real. And so many times we're looking at someone else, we're looking at someone else's relationship, or we're looking at another individual and say, they will be a better spouse for me, or I can find another spouse that'll be more compatible uh, than the person that I'm with. And so you you look at it and say, I know my faults. I know my issues in my grass. I know what's going on in my relationship. Uh, going into a new relationship, we always tell people, all you're doing is trading off issues. And so in the book, we talk in that chapter about you know why it's more beneficial to invest in the grass that you already have than to try to leave your lawn to go over to that other lawn and realize that it's fake. You know what I mean? It's, it's cheaper, it to, keep her. It's cheaper yeah. to keep her. <laughs> no, it costs more no, money. So let me say <laughs> something. Let me say something. We say it's cheaper to keep her, but I'm going to tell you, there's an investment. Every mm. do, do do everybody know that there, every argument is an investment? Mm. Every argument that you have with your spouse is an investment. And even if you felt like you lost the argument, they still observe what you said. So if you mess around never lose and argument. let that and let that let that thing go, if you let mess around, let that she's gonna take all the arguments that you had and change it for the next person. And so now your investment is now matured with someone else. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is getting a return on your investment. All the arguments, all the disagreements. All the times you came home and this wasn't done, that wasn't done. All the times she came home and this wasn't done, that wasn't done. They're going to do it for the next person because they don't want to fail again. They don't want it to seem like another failure. So they'll take everything you taught them and go and give it to the next person. Right. You know how hard it is to train my wife? You know what? <laughs> Can he come over to y'all house tonight? He gonna be I was about back. to say, go about that slap we was talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, uh, public disclaimer. Hey, you got to go spend the night somewhere else. You can't uh, be here tonight, okay? Public disclaimer. I, I didn't mean that. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. I apologize uh -huh. for mm -hmm. all of my You better comments. do it. You better do it. Uh, I'm trying to hold her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, you know what I mean by holding. Uh, sir, you got to go do more than that, okay? Now, where's my plane ticket? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be flying spirit. <laughs> uh, you will not put me on spirit. Okay? I want put. I want you put you on spirit. No. Put you on a cargo plane. No. But in play. But in play plane. <laughs> okay. Pl keep I, playing if you want to. But you it, up your wallet, gone. Why would you steal my wallet? I'm not stealing. It's ours. We're together. We're one flesh. It's Ours is really boy. I tell you, church over you trying to look. look, look <laughs> we talking about routine, maintain. <laughs> we we want to maintain. Not pull apart. Yeah, I tell you, you say, these church folks be using a word for their advantage for like a month. No, but anyway, it's one of the questions in your book that you talked about in here is uh, uh um, which I like to talk about is, am I with the right person? Okay. Am I with the right person? Now, I want to be tr transparent. In the beginning of our marriage, boy, I tell you, there was questions. I'm like, am I with the right person? When I say that, 
Mm-hmm. I'm saying in the context of I found I learned all of my faults through her. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all just missed that. Y'all just get that next week. I promise you. You can send your uh offering donations to Congress Service. <laughs> uh <laughs> you can get us and fly <laughs> cash app us okay you can do anything just send it okay sponsors okay uh anyway um i found out all of my faults all of my shortcomings that i thought i didn't have through her i learned it through her like i never knew that i had an anger problem until she said something and when she said it i got offense like i don't got no freaking anger problem who are you talking about I learned all my thoughts, all of my issues that I had through her. And when I found out those things, it was in the beginning of our marriage, which I want to say this. When we first got married, we moved in with each other, what, that next day or that weekend? Mm -hmm. And that was the first time we ever lived with each other. Mm. Boy, boy, I tell you. (laughs) Okay. And then when we moved in with each other in the beginning of our marriage, we didn't have money. We didn't have, uh, we were just two young, young black fools in love and just want to be married. Just want to see each other every day of our lives. And we was in this, uh, 350 square foot <laughs> studio apartment where there's only one, uh, not even a full bedroom. It was a bed, kitchen, bathroom, living room. That's what it was. And we just want to be with each other okay until we didn't until we didn't okay when small space oh boy when i got mad and i tried to leave i couldn't leave because i was still in the same area where she was so i went to the bathroom going to the so but, but what i'm saying is i learned in the beginning of our marriage the first five years uh or say actually i'm still learning um because i as i'm changed as i'm growing older and as i'm still you know um developing and changing i'm still learning about me but i'm also finding out myself some things that i overcame and things that i still need work with so with that and saying okay everyone when they act everyone should uh in the period of their marriage they will ask that question am i with the right person not in the context of they did something wrong or they doing something that I don't like, but something as far as did I do the right thing with myself, like getting married at that point in time. Mm-hmm. So when y'all first got married, let me ask you that. You believe you was uh that was that was the right decision? Oh, when we and first got married, absolutely. when you first got married, I think so, and I think because we was young and dumb, it wasn't until like you know I'm later about on. Young and dumb. That's what I'm talking about. I like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and I, I say that because I was 18 and he was 19. So like a couple months after going out to high school, and it's just like what y'all said. That's why I was laughing when y'all was talking like small apartment, b- barely had money. And you like, oh, we wanted to be grown, but this is what grown feels like. Like this is what it is, you know, so all those things. But I think in those times, you're so like young and naive and don't understand. And I think... It takes you like a couple years once you really get in the trenches to be like, wait a minute. Now, what we do? Like, how we doing this? And then you start, like you said, discovering who you are and discovering like, I don't know. I don't know if I like the way you do this. I love you, but I, I'm I'm not that. And, and when you haven't lived together and moved together, oh my God, like it, it's a lot to get used to. It's a lot to get used to. To living with somebody living totally with somebody different is animal. totally different and i i hate to um talk negatively about it um uh, it's just being transparent and honest because you get more people like yep see that that's why we should just go on and stay together first before we get married you know every time you say something oh, we, people just take it the wrong way we're I'm not like, saying y'all should shack up God, in, we ain't you saying probably that. won't stay together <laughs> yeah we're not saying y'all should shack up what we're saying is I, I would not change that experience. No, absolutely Look, looking not. Looking back at it, I would not change that experience because absolutely of Absolutely not. Yeah, I so because... Go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead, Pastor. So what I was just saying was um, you, have to, you have to allow for the adjustment period. 
you know, the adjustment period, we always talk about this. And I, I really want to encourage on here, premarital counseling, please make sure that if you get married by somebody, be married by somebody that's willing to give you premarital counseling, because that counseling should give you, you know, all of the ins and outs of, you know, the adjustment phase and the period that you're going to deal with, with, hey, your household, like, uh, we tell people all the time, things like this, like if my household believe in washing dishes every night, I, even if it's two forks, we wash dishes. Or if your household believe in accumulation, I'm not going to do any dishes if it's not enough dishes. So I'll wait until it's, it could be two or three days before they accumulate to enough where I feel like dishes should be done. That could be enough to break up a relationship in the beginning. Like the, uh, my mother had OCD. So she used to pick up everything for me, like my underwear and everything. And she was like, I'm not your maid, you know? And so in that adjustment period, she was like, I'm literally about to go back to my mama's house because you won't pick up your, your underwear. So it's like, I'm not your maid. There, it's called the adjustment phase. And so in that adjustment phase, you will question several times, is this the right person? Because now you have to see the person uh, on 24 seven, you got to see them in their ups and their downs. And we're dating somebody. You can easily hang up the phone when you're going through something and you can go, you know, you go to your house, I go to my house, whatever. But when you're living with that person, you're married to that person, you, you got to see every up and down. And so, yeah, um, it, it, it's a question that's going to be asked several times in the first five years. I would say the first five years are very crucial. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want, first of all, uh, let me do this. I want to apologize because uh, I know we ain't supposed to be on here for an hour and we are past our hour, but uh, this has been a great conversation, uh, a great conversation in which we need to come back because it's so fact we didn't get to uh, signals cross. And that's mm -hmm. something I want to talk about uh, because I believe in sex in marriage. God darn it. <laughs> all right. Believe in it regularly. Okay? As you should. Regularly. Uh, regularly, not once a week, twice a week, whatever that, whatever you, y'all schedule appointments, who schedule appointments to have? What is this? Never mind. Never. I don't. Get older. <laughs> we, be like, okay, we'll Tuesday be evening at six o'clock. <laughs> meet me bedroom. Your bedroom. I mean, no, <laughs> no I, I don't believe. Look, uh, sick news cross. Okay, uh, y'all talked about something uh, which is very true. Um, which I we, I want to bring back up because it's very funny. Yo, very. Uh, never mind. I want to talk about it. How the beginning of the race, you know, how everything's good on fire and everything. I don't want to talk about it in the book because it's gonna make me ask more questions. But you know, things like costumes and foreplay, all that book crap. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> signal cross. I want to talk about that, and I want to also talk about. Um, Jesus Christ! It just slipped my mind. Signals cross and also um, uh, uh, covering your partner. I want to talk about that as well. Covering your partner. I know we say stick to it, uh, uh, stay through it uh, and pray through it, but I want to talk about covering your partner as well. Signals cross and uh, covering your partner. So I apologize, Pastor. I, I'm, I'm pastors, I really apologize. We are over our time. I didn't want to take up much of your time. I appreciate you for coming on here. Uh, we're going to come back and do part three because I want everyone to get this book. I'm going to have the website information on here. You know, I believe in team dark skin because we always right. Uh, if you don't get it, if you don't get it, people, you just don't understand. Okay. <laughs> you just don't understand. Okay? Get him right now. Girl, look, come on. Let me show you. Come on. Let me get you together. I'm going to rock you to sleep tonight. Boy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, we get together for part three. We going to let y'all go. How about that? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to put her to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to win. All right. But anyway, we're going to talk about that. Sitting across, uh, covering your partner. I hope this has been a blessing unto you on today. I uh, pray that you like the page, the Congress service page. Uh, I would like for you to go over to the Velks. Uh, um, to the to their website get their workbook and the book together okay together you and your spouse when next time y'all have a uh, couple's night at your house at other people houses bring the book bring the workbook 
just start up conversation, start up the dialogue, okay? They gave us some great tidbits. They gave us a little secrets of what they do in counseling, which they should be charging for, but that ain't the point right now. We ain't gonna talk about that. But what you are gonna do is go and be a blessing onto them by getting this book, which will be a, 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 a huge harvest for you in your marriage. Uh, so please go get their book and their workbook. Okay. And plus, guess what? If you live in the city of Detroit, it's at Baker's. Mm-hmm. You can probably one day get a, a signed copy. Okay. I'm not saying I hold the art. I'm going to let this go, Jesus. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. The <laughs> Sunday is coming. I got to take my communion. Okay. I need my bread and I need the blood. Okay. <laughs> All right, I need the blood, okay? Because Pentecost is coming, but that ain't the point. Uh, look, uh, I know, pray for me, please, pray for me. Uh, in real life. In real life, real, real time, okay? Real I'm time. not praying for you, I'm praying for my sister. Thank you, okay? I need it. Okay. Wow. I need it. I mean, wow. I'll pray for you too, but. I got you, bro. I'm gonna have you up on her, because you know. She know how it is dealing with us. God. Man, you know what? Anyway, in October, we're going to do something special. We're going to get together. Matter of fact, before then, we're going to have to do something. We all need to get a bit. Forget the kids, okay? It's going to be couples night, okay? Couples Just night. us. Couples night. Bump the kids, okay? I ain't say we don't like them. We just don't, we just don't like them sometimes, okay? That's all it is. I ain't going to say we don't like them. We just don't like them sometimes, okay? <laughs> There's a difference between that. You got to catch it. You got to catch it in here. Mm-hmm. All right? But anyway, thank y'all so much for being on here. I know you have a busy workday schedule. I know you get ready for Sunday. First Sunday is coming up. I really appreciate you for being on here, me and the wife. Really appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Okay. Yeah. Love y'all too. Love y'all too. Thanks for having us. Uh, So we're going to do part three. I'm going to have to get with the wife to uh, get us the date (laughs) of part three. Okay. I would like to do that. If we can do it next month, that would be greatly appreciated, wife. So you just let me know or let miss know what day is good okay, okay i will do that okay all right and most importantly if you see some dishes in freaking sink okay put them up <laughs> all right i ain't gonna say it put them up i ain't just playing with y'all i ain't about to start i ain't about to start you about to get hurt uh people about to cut oh i'm about to leave some nasty messages in my inbox Uh-oh. i don't care i ain't afraid of you anyway but we appreciate y'all we love y'all again for those who are listening on our apple podcast our spotify for those who are listening on our google play thank you so much hit that follow button for those who are watching us live on facebook and watching us on youtube please uh go down to the information uh go to their website and also continue to follow us as we get ready continue to be a service to the community because that's what we are about being a service to the community because we are about kingdom mindset kingdom principles and also we got to have a kingdom heart and this is our heart we want to be a service onto the community uh everywhere we serve okay so thank y'all so much again we love y'all we're praying for y'all i know you got older kids and your kids are grown uh we're praying for them i'm definitely praying for them and that college tuition I'm praying for wallets increase right now because you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> yes, sir. Love y'all. Mm-hmm. Thank y'all so much for having us. We Thank really y'all so much. Y'all. Love y'all. All right, y'all. All right, have God a good bless one. y'all. See y'all next time. All right. All right. See you next time. <laughs>